go ahead and drop those in the chat. All right, we'll start with Brent Widener. Hi, Amy. Um, I guess in the earlier, uh, what, the last game against Minnesota, your uh, your inside players didn't give you what you what you wanted. Did you, did you kind of challenge them more with this matchup against Minnesota to give you that inside outside that you that you need? Yeah, Brent, uh, the first time we played Minnesota, we gave up 15 three-pointers. The second time, we gave up 32 points in the paint. And so that was something that we talked about as just that we're going to have to put together a balanced game and balanced effort. We're going to have to defend them at the three-point line and do a much better job defensively, uh, but also really taking advantage and pounding it and having a post presence and, and being able to produce uh, paints paint touches and points in the paint uh, throughout the ball game. And I thought uh, Kate and Izzy did a nice job of that. Even uh, Bella, when she came in, kind of just uh, gave us a little spark here or there. And, and, um, and you know, I just thought it was, uh, it was important for our uh, game plan today. All right, we'll go to Derek Peterson. Yeah, Amy, um, you guys only had eight turnovers is the, the fewest turnovers you've had in the game since mid January. And then the, the 20 assists on 27 made shots is, is that, is that as, as clean a game as, as maybe you've played in, in a while as well executed an offensive game as you've played? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm proud of that. I, I think, you know, I didn't realize it was the least amount of turnovers that we had had, but uh, against a team like Minnesota, who I feel like the first two times we played them, they really kind of took us out of what we wanted to do offensively with their pressure and just really kind of getting up. And I thought, you know, things were fairly physical today and, and for us to come out of there with just eight turnovers um, and 20 assists is, is probably more important. You know, the way we shared the basketball and kind of made the extra pass and um, it paid off for us today. Abby Barmore. Congratulations, Amy. So in the second quarter, you guys outscored Minnesota 22 to 10. What was working at that point and how important was that for you guys to able to get that win despite uh, fourth quarter surge from them? Yeah, I think that that second quarter was was huge. I think really kind of if you tap back into the very tail end of the first quarter, I thought Kendall Coley really sparked us with a huge three. Uh, we had, I think, an 18 to three run somewhere there from the end of the first into the second quarter. Um, I thought we got big sparks from our bench. Um, you know, Whit Brown made a beautiful backdoor pass to Sam Hybe and kind of freed her up for an easy uh, bump off the glass layup. And and Kendall Coley hit a couple threes in that stretch. And, and I just thought we got great production from our bench. During All right, we'll go back to Brent. Yeah, just, just how's everybody feeling? I mean, uh, you haven't won at the Big Ten tournament for a while, and it's kind of a weird year. Just, ha just what's the reaction? How's everybody feeling about this game? Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really, you know, locker room of just um, kind of mixed emotions right now. Just obviously we have a team that's concerned for their teammate uh, and Ruby Porter and she went down in the game. And, and um, so that's always kind of a little bit of a, a damper on things, but uh, certainly something we want to celebrate. We know how tough it is to get wins in March period, but um, particularly down here in this big 10 tournament. And, and so for us to be able to, uh, uh, to beat a good Minnesota team and, and to um, kind of bounce back and, and after a couple losses during the regular season and beat them down here, it feels great and something we want to celebrate and be excited about that we're still marching. Is it something serious with Ruby? Uh, I don't know yet. And, and so we'll, we'll hope to find out soon uh, how serious it is. All right, back to Derek. Yeah, I was going to ask about kind of what changes if Ruby's not in the lineup for you guys tomorrow. Do, do you think you go back to Izzy at the three, you move Bella to the four and, and kind of go that route or what kind of challenges does having to adjust your lineup right before you play Maryland pose? 
Yeah, Derek, I think that that's the, the thing that this season has really prepared us for. And, you know, we've had to adjust so much throughout this year. We, we lost Ruby to an ankle earlier in the season. We, we've had to shuffle um, lineups. We've had to play big lineups. We've had to play small lineups. And I think that's what we've been preparing for. And, you know, I think that uh, whether or not uh, we are, are leaning on our, our guard reserves to step in and, and um, you know, help us out there, or if it's going to be, um, you know, going to a bigger lineup and playing Izzy some minutes there, you know, I think the good news is that we're prepared for all of those scenarios. All right, any last minute questions? All right, that'll wrap it up. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. We'll have Sam Hyde be here in a couple moments.